Over the next few minutes, ICON will take you through the proper installation of our slide rail shoring system from start to finish. In this example, the contractor will be installing a tight sheetening slide rail system that is 20.5 feet by 20.5 feet by 20 feet deep. After delivery of the slide rail system, the contractor will organize the equipment for easy access and installation. Next, mark out the excavation area using the outside dimension of your shoring system to prepare the pilot cut. Start by digging out each side of the pilot cut to a depth of 3 to 4 feet depending on the stability of your soil. Try to keep straight sidewalls if possible. Start the installation of your system by placing the first slide rail base plate inside the pilot cut with the knife edge facing in. Make sure the panel is secure and then place the first corner rail over the interlock of the first panel using the back channel of the corner rail. Continue this process around the pit, adding more corner rails and base plates until you have a closed four-sided pit. It is always a good idea to take measurements from corner rail to corner rail to show you how off of center you really are, and then make adjustments to the system if need be to bring the pit closer to square before moving forward with the installation. Continue excavating the inside of the pit, clearing the soil in no more than two feet increments. You will then use the excavator bucket to push the plates down first, and then the corner rails. This process of advancing the plates first, and then the corner rails next, will keep the tracks and rails clean from soil, debris, and will prevent the rails from twisting during the installation process. Next, you can backfill any voids left behind the system. When a depth of 8 feet is reached, start installing the rest of the slide rail base plates in the front channel of the corner rail. Installation of the side rail plates in both channels early during the installation process will also help prevent twisting of the system as you go deeper. Continue digging and pushing the inside plates and corner rails down to a depth of 16 feet and proceed to dig inside of the pit another 2 feet. Now you can place the steel H brackets on the tops of the base plates and then install the 4 foot high slide rail extension plates into the back track of the corner rails. Lower the extension plates carefully onto the steel H brackets and then secure by pinning in place. At this point, all that is left is to continue digging and pushing the system to the desired depth starting with the plates in the outside track and then advancing the plates on the inside track all the way to subgrade. To secure the top of the pit, ICON has developed a pre-engineered steel guardrail system that can be lowered and secured to the top of our slide rail panels while the contractor provides wood for the railings needed. With the installation of the slide rail pit complete, the contractor can install the final structure in record time and much faster than any conventional driven methods. Icon Equipment is the original and foremost industry expert in the design, manufacturing, and rental of slide rail shoring systems and methods.